And then the next thing I did was look for creative ways to really stand out when I'm pitching something to a brand and how can I like stand up from the very beginning, like really hit them in the face on that first email they open up. And then I, I started using Bubble Up actually to make pitch decks. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Virtual Coffee Break with Bubble Up. I'm your host, Wade Sellers, and today we have an awesome guest with us today. We've got professional mountain biker and media athlete Mark Matthews with us. Mark, how you doing? Good morning. Hello. Hey, thanks for having me on. I'm really excited to talk to you for a while. Doing great. Stoked to have you. Stoked to have you. Where are you calling in from here, and what are you drinking this morning? Calling in from Victoria, BC, Canada, west coast of Canada, and nice. I'm drinking water out of my giant hydroplast jug. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. Well, well, Mark, I'm stoked to have this interview with you. I've seen a ton of your content. If you don't know, Mark is a, he's a media athlete, a professional mountain biker. He puts amazing mountain biking co coverage out there on his YouTube, on his Instagram, on his TikTok now, which has 216,000 followers. So you're definitely doing something right. I've, I've been watching this and I look in your descriptions and I see that you're working with brands often and you're trying out products. And it seems like you have this knack of being able to learn how to talk and create partnerships with brands and sponsors. I'd love to pick your brain about it today if you're cool with that. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, exactly. I kind of took that approach starting around five, five to six years ago when I kind of wanted to wind down from competition as I was getting older, um, do less risky, I guess, like contests and putting myself in lower risk situations where I could still do like great content, exciting bike riding and really tell my story and I bring people along for the ride. I love it. Can, can you share some of the partnerships that you've worked with along the way here? I'm on the Marin Bikes Global team, a big company out of San Francisco. And then I'm riding for like SR Sun Tour, Hydro Flask, Cavu, um, P&W Components, Shimano, Wicked Audio, Hutchinson Tires. There's a lot of there's a lot of competition. I mean, there there's a lot of videos out there of people that are doing awesome stuff in the action sports world, and I'm sure there's a lot of brands that want to talk and work with them. My curiosity is when it comes to reaching out to a brand, reaching out to a sponsor to work with, how do you cut through the noise? Because I, I imagine that they're getting bombarded by people asking. I put in the work, right? Like I I followed up with people. I sent professional emails, and I started creating content kind of without overthinking it just putting stuff out there because so many athletes don't like the idea of social media like they just don't think it's cool like they want to be known for their sport and they want to be respected by their peers they don't want to be known for like the person who's out there throwing out youtube videos every day or like throwing up an instagram post with a bunch of brands like they want to be known for their sport and so i just had to like get more relentless work harder and then not worry about other people judging me like I, i'm sure that I got flack at the start for like doing random sponsored gigs that maybe weren't the best fit for my own personal image, but mm -hmm. it wasn't like selling out necessarily. It was just me experimenting and trying new things. And I got better after a few years has gone by. I've gotten way better at it. And I think that's, that's all it is like working hard, like learning how to be a good writer um, yeah. and following up with people, being relentless and not overthinking it, not worried about like other people judging you, like just do your own thing and focus on your own process. And I think like that's what's really helped me. I don't really have to worry about the noise because I have a system that I've built for myself that works for me. Have you learned some things along the way? Are there things that work better than others? Kind of, can you break down maybe some of the tips for success when it comes to reaching out to brands? Try, not try to sell them on an idea that doesn't exist yet, I guess. Like, okay. I was always like, oh, I have this like really cool thing I want to do. Like say I, I want to go to like Chile and ride on top of a volcano. How cool would it be to get an airline to pay for that? And <laughs> I used to have these ideas all the time and like they never were successful because like, how are you going to convince a brand to support something like that if you've never done it before? I found like I just had to give hard examples of what I've done already and try to like push it a little bit. Like I worked with the Utah Tourism Board in the past and I had really great examples. So last year when I wanted to go down to Tasmania in Australia to go ride a really cool bike park down there and I wanted to stay with some friends, I was like, okay, flights are quite expensive. How can I get this covered? So I hit up the Tasmanian Tourism Board and I showed them an example of what I did with previous tourism boards and I broke down the price and I like did a really nice clean pitch and it was an easy sell for them because they saw the value in it and they, they saw they proof that I can do that. And I think that's, that's kind of the number one point there is to show people what you are capable of and give past examples of work you've done. 
how does that happen? Do you DM them? Do you email them? Like, what are um, you sending them? Usually an email. I mean, if I have a hard time finding the right contact, I'll, I'll try a DM on Instagram first because that's where my biggest following is. So I feel like that has the most leverage usually. Like if I just DM like a tourism board on Instagram and ask them like a general question, like just hit, like how I'm reaching out, <laughs> um, wondering about this, like, I understand you're busy. Just thank you for even reading my message. And like, you're just like, just humble and grateful for the opportunity off the very bat. And then like, Lucy, you get a fairly positive response and that's Lucy how I get the conversation started. I'm kind of curious just to kind of dig in a bit more. So you're reaching out to a brand and saying, here I am and here's what I do. I imagine they're getting emails and DMs and such like that. Is there any way that you stand out from the pack or like, how do you, like, how do you get all that information to someone and get them even willing to read that much? The one, no, first thing I did is I got better at writing emails. I got a little more professional, like worked on improving my writing. And then the next thing I did was look for creative ways to really stand out when I'm pitching something to a brand and how can I like stand out from the very beginning, like really hit them in the face on that first email they open up. And then I, I started using bubble up actually to make pitch decks, like quick little pitch oh. decks out of roll. And I'm, I've kind of like mastered that over the last year. And it's been really cool because like rather than sending out like a big resume or a big like PDF file and a, and an email, I can send them literally like a link to a page where everything's presented on like one clean layout and it's nice and short and to the point. So just a and short and sweet I've email. Been, yeah. And then uh, if you want to see it, here's really what I got for you. Yeah. Like here's my social media, but here's what I do. And then they click on the link, they see a roll and it's all like one page. They can scroll down in like one minute, literally. And then spend a couple minutes on it if they really want to dive into the content I've written out there. And yeah, it's been cool. I've been using it to like find bike sponsorships. I've used it to get support for like travel for like specific film projects I want to work on. And I'm blown away by how well it's been working for me this year. I think just like the simplicity and like the nice visual look to it has really. Do you have any like tips for success? Like how are you making this email? Like what do you put in a pitch deck? You know, short and short and sweet, I imagine here, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, Well, I do have a group folder you can join in the description here that goes through like that in greater detail because I did a couple one hour long workshops and I have like so many folders in there that really dive into this. But I have one example email I'd like to share with you, Wade, that I think is really, really good because it's quite short. Um, I basically just start off by introducing my name, what I do. So hi, I'm Mark Matthews, a professional mountain biker, where I'm from. And then I just tell them I'm reaching you know, because I want to gauge your interest in working together. I, I just, it's like a quick way to show your personality through an email. And I'm not like overly selling myself and I'm confident and they can check out my content if they want right away because it might just spark their curiosity a bit. And I think that's kind of the key there. Yeah. What happens if you don't hear back? How, are you persistent with them or do you move on to the next brand? How, how much do you actually yeah. like try to stick around? I guess it really depends on the brand and like how much I want the partnership to happen. Like for example, when I wanted to go to Bali four years ago, but I didn't have a lot of money to do it at that time. So I really needed an airline to, to like pay for it. So I (laughs) followed up with them probably like five or six times. And then just like had a super blunt email being like, let me know if you're interested or not. Either way is fine. Just give me an answer. And then like, it was like very straight up like that, just cause I needed an answer and they got back to me with a yes. So like sometimes it works <laughs> other times, like I'll, I'll follow up once or twice and then nothing. And I'll just kind of move on to the next opportunity because it's not like something I'm overly excited about. Uh, and yeah, it just really depends on how bad you want it. Just be relentless if you really want it, I guess is, is the lesson. I, I love it. Persistence paid, yeah. off, paid off there and they put your bike and you on a plane and sent you to Bali. That's awesome. Yeah. Mark, I, uh, we're coming up close to time. Um, I don't want to stop the conversation here. You're very busy, but it seems like you love to share out about this and really talk to people about gaining sponsorships and finding brands to work with. How does somebody communicate with you? What's the best place? How can they reach you? Um, I would say just go to that group folder in the description here and join that because I have like so many more resources surrounding this topic. And you can even see examples of like roles that I've created as pitch decks. You can see example emails. You can watch hour long workshops. Uh, Mark, I'm going to put all of your social handles are in the description. I'll put an invite to that folder as well in there. So get in touch with Mark. He literally is a guru when it comes to working with brands and he has tons of value. I've seen what he can do, obviously, when it comes to the content and the footage. It's, it's unreal. It's beautiful. You should definitely check out what he's got going on there. Mark, thank you so much for taking the time to have a talk with us today. And I hope we can get you on again, man. Yeah, thanks, Wade. Let's do it again soon. This is fun. Sweet.
Cheers. Yeah.